Much love, my friends. Back at you. Mondays with the Mako. Hope you had a great, great weekend and a really strong finish for me. We did. We'll talk a little bit about that, but I uh, want to highlight the shout outs this week. A real, real special shout out um, to my friend Alfonso and his wife Sandy and their beautiful son. Um, hashtag Javi Strong. And you guys are going to learn a little bit more about that uh, this week in the written material. And then the written material, again, guys, it's quality um, and it's a different feel for me, right? I feel that I can touch on everything in the written material. I feel that I skirt and I can't get as deep as I'd like sometimes on the video piece uh, because I'm really trying to rock and adhere to um, some guidelines around time and delivery. So um, dig into the written content when you can and and always grab that, uh, especially when I have an off video week. I'll tend to go really deep, guys. Uh, but take a look at the shout outs this week and much, much love. Hope you had uh, again, an excellent weekend and a strong finish for me. Uh, my team at work, I'm going to dive right into these guys again. Uh, we smashed our record again back-to-back -back months. Um, so they're getting also a shout-out. They're the first group or, or, um, or individual that's received three shout-outs in a row. <laughs> so I'm really digging my team and loving on these guys. I got the Infusionsoft shades on, um, ready to roll into June. Guys, how are we doing at the halfway point? That's something that's on my mind right now. Are we working our goals? Are we analyzing? How's the big board looking? Are we attacking our BHAGs? What do we need to adjust and tweak a bit at this point? Um, so I wanna look at that a little bit more personally with you next week as I talk about my goals and where I'm at. Um, but things are shifting and moving with my BHAGs. So let's talk a little bit about that, give you a product update um, and where I'm at with my brand because that's on my mind also. Uh, we had a little bit of a, a, a lull last week, but that doesn't mean stuff's not getting done. Uh, I had an excellent session with Robert. Uh, I'm getting to understand the back end of the website so I can get more of the blog uh, material and the content placed. Uh, we're going to work on the buttons. Uh, we're going to work on shifting some of the pictures together. And I'm really going to attack the, the, the grunt test um, from Donald Miller and the story brand. It's excellent, guys. you got to take some time. Um, to, to look at his material and I highly recommend his course. I've received excellent feedback from people that are taking it. Uh, it's a little investment, but I'm gonna look to do that here shortly. Um, so excellent work um, last week, keeping things moving, even though it felt, uh, felt like there was a lull there. Um, why there was a lull, I think is because um, there's just a lot going on and I had to place my BHAGs, unfortunately, um, down the priority list. So with that said, um, something that's on my mind also is sales training. Uh, this can be part of the product piece, more of the selling to serve. And somebody said to me the other day, they said, Jerry, you're like a sales prophet. And I said, whoa, that's a little intense. And um, not the way I might, might use that, but I, I kind of liked how that felt. And I said, tell me a little bit more about that. Why do you feel that? And they said, you're an excellent mentor and a guide through uh, the, the tough waters, the, you know, the the, tr the turbulence that we're feeling, you know, as we fly, the, the heavy seas, the rough waves, um, you're able to, to, to actually guide us through, um, you know, the windy conditions and, 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 the, and the rough water, so to speak. Um, we talked a little bit more about that. So I, I want to bring that into my brand more and into the product piece. And you will talk more about that uh, in the coming weeks also with selling to serve and what I have in mind there and my sales boot camp. Oh, my. <sighs> It's pool time. I'm gonna be jumping in the pool here in a second and I'm really working on my health and my fitness. But another thing that's on my mind right now is my health. And I wanna be a little bit transparent here and talk about uh, what, what's going on with me. I think there's a, a problem with my gallbladder and we're going through some testing. I've gotta do some things there. Um, but could you believe that the shark has to have an organ taken out? Could, what? <laughs> I'm having a hard time um, wrapping my hands around that, but it's all good, guys. That's, that's simple stuff these days. Um, and it means that I'm going to have to go harder. It means that I'm going to have to tweak. It means that I'm going to have to be way better with my diet and the way that I work uh, my, my body and my internal my inter uh, internal muscles, if you will. Um, big three for the week, guys. Big week for Victor. Big week for Victor uh, and Erica. I'm going to put those two together at number one. Uh, I pick the little guy up every day uh, after work. So <laughs> it's, it's fully on. And, and I want to tip my hat again uh, to Beverly and Corey and their amazing family. Uh, they are so excited to have us and Victor um, 
and that's going to be number one this week. We're up to the challenge. We're ready to roll, I believe, on that. Uh, number two uh, is, is team, keeping what we've got going. Uh, in place, everything's everything's there. We're, we're refining, uh, we're shaping our, our product offerings, um, we're understanding our target better than we've ever had, and we're using um, the right tools and levers to market. And we're actually marketing, um, and that's the game, right, guys? It's a balance between sales and marketing. We have to be doing both, and you can't be selling if you're not marketing because you don't have enough coming in, obviously. So we got to work on the funnel: predictable lead gen, predictable ROI. Um, so the team's rocking. Uh, I've got great energy around the team. I'm feeling like I'm really connected with these guys and gals. And the, the challenge, I think, though, is um, the feel for uh, complacency. As that starts to set in, as we start to miss maybe some goals and get behind, how does that look? Um, don't accept it. Don't take it. Keep pushing through that. And that's why you got to get to your people in your inner circle and in your network and talk about things that are hard and where you're missing. And then when you're missing again, it's the, gr it's the grit and the work to get through it. So you got to work your asses off guys. Um, and then number three obviously is, um, taking that hard work, right. And all of that grit and all that stuff that I talk about the grind, but being balanced with it because we got to be healthy. Um, so it's being really mindful of, of my output this week, um, including the extra piece now with Vic and, and that, that focus. So uh, being really, really specific with my diet, my workout, my cadence there, how I'm driving. Um, and that spiritual piece, I think, is going to be a, a big piece of this as well. Um, and I feel that that right there, guys, is going to make a big impact on the week, um, obviously, because I'll have the focus, the energy. Um, the right intensity, the passion, I'll have all of the energy there. So that's the big three. Uh, that's what's on my mind. Uh, two more things that have really hit me hard. Um, Manchester and, and London now. And everybody knows that the UK is a special place for me and my friends in the UK. And guys, sorry. Sorry, it hurts. And Manchester specifically because it's such a, pl a place for me. Um, I've been there multiple times now and uh, the city is amazing. The diversity and the shine and the hustle and the bustle and the grind. Um, and obviously London, right? Come on now. Um, but I I'm really thinking about you guys and I want to say, you know, I love you and we're praying for you and I need you to be strong and I need your eyes open and I need you being really, really mindful, everybody, uh, of the media. And I'm just speaking to the UK and England, guys. I'm talking to everybody right there. Um, so let's be, be careful of how we're consuming and let's be really, really close to our friends, obviously in our family, Let, let's share the love and the energy there and let's keep our eyes open, uh, at all times, um, and, and be really mindful within our communities. So guys, much love. Let's go get a good week. Let's go dominate. Let's go bring the energy for June. Let's get off and running. It's massive. It's the Q2 finish. Let's be analyzing those goals again and really digging in to what we need to do to change and pivot before it's too late because this year is moving. All right, much love. I'm hitting the pool, you guys. I'm working on that health piece, but I'm taking it slow. All right, thank you guys. Let's dig in. And the shirts are coming. We're about a week out, week and a half out. Uh, talk to Ernest, and it was good to see him at work. Uh, his family's doing great. All right, much love.